Slava Sulsu Christu. Slava Navi. Today's gospel deserves a title. I have called this gospel Have a Little Faith. I don't know whether that means that we should have just a little bit because that's better than having none or whether we should have more than we've got. Probably both things are true. Anyhow, the setting is that Christ has returned from the Mount of the Transfiguration in order to continue his ministry. Now that may be a little confusing because Wednesday is the Feast of the Transfiguration. So we're really putting things out of order a bit here. But Jesus <laughs> in this setting has returned and he finds that not everything has gone so well in his absence. The disciples who have been left behind were commissioned with Jesus' power and authority and they are frustrated by their own failures. I'm sure we can emphasise with this in an age where it seems that everything we are trying to deal with the coronavirus is failing. In this we need a little faith because in the end we will have success. But Jesus continues to be with the disciples and he has power to continue to heal despite the fact that they have failed. So when hoped for miracles fail, the problem must not be our own lack of faith or that if we simply had enough faith we could uh, avert all tragedies and heal all afflictions. That's not the understanding that Matthew has anyhow. Nor can we infer the faith in itself is a power that accomplishes miracles. It's not that. It is God who acts, not an attitude called faith. This is not a story about the power of faith, but about the power of God. Faith in Matthew is always not a quality of the one praying, but a relationship of practical trust with the one to whom the prayer is offered. Matthew's comment about little faith is directed toward his disciples. They are the ones who are unable to heal because of their little faith. But even a little faith is power enough. Matthew is here dealing with the disciples. His unenthusiastic portrait of Jesus' disciples figured in the controversy with the non-Christian Jewish leaders. The defection of the disciples, the betrayal by Judas, and the denial by Peter were all solid parts of the Christian tradition. Matthew never denied these embarrassing facts. However, Matthew tones things down and places before us a picture of earnest but fallible people who as Jesus' first followers had their failures. These same people's attitude before Jesus was what we truly call a little faith. The weaknesses of Jesus' first companions has been a source of encouragement for fallible Christians throughout the centuries. 
they should be an encouragement to us as well. The reminder of what a little faith can achieve is a great achievement. Praying faith is also instruction to us on the proper attitude toward Jesus in prayer. O ye of little faith, continue in faith. Slava Sosa Christos.